The Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, NVCCI, held its first quarterly breakfast meeting themed Nigeria Vietnam Online Real Time Market, Right Step in Right Direction in Boston Mutual Investment Relations. The meeting was held on Thursday, the 8th of February 2018, at the Golden Gate Restaurant, Kingsway Road, Ikoi, Lagos. The Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry was set up in the year 2007 with the primary aim of promoting bilateral interests of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam in areas of trade, commerce, and industry. In attendance at the breakfast were the special advisor to the Nigerian Ambassador to Vietnam, Mr. Ore Ohimo, President of the Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Oye Akinshemoyi. President of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Chief Ruashi, President of Nasima, Chief Mrs. Alaba Lawson, Lagos successful lawyer, Chief Chris Okunowo, the Chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Bisio Latilo, among many other stakeholders. Speaking at the event, Professor Patsutomi said, There is so much Nigeria can learn from the ever growing Vietnam's economy despite the war they encountered for a long time. He added that, having started the agricultural sector in Nigeria over the years, he has observed that most people in the agricultural sector are not making as much profit as they should be making, which makes it difficult for them to sustain their businesses. Because they're not in business. And because they're not in business, they cannot sustain it. They just are going to have just passing any problems. Is anybody helping me? Do I have a point that I can yes. okay. That's why Nigeria has huge investments and potentials in agriculture. The fact is that agriculture is not a sustainable business for many farmers. Um, poor prices for produce with a biased market, you know, in which the dominant players are really the middle men, means that uh, uh, farmers get so little that the motivation is not there to grow more. The incentives are not there, and they can proceed. Thank you very much. Professor Patutomi's analysis of the agricultural sector in Nigeria led to the introduction of the Integrated Produce City concept, which is aimed at transforming the agricultural value chain into an attractive and sustainable business. He therefore urged graduates to tap into the diverse opportunities in the agricultural sector in Nigeria. Give one hectare to one young graduate. A Greek management company help them all set up properly. When I chaired the South South Economic Summit, we brought in farmers from the US who came in their private jet to show the people that farming is not for dropouts. It is a huge business. So when these bright young graduates in Undo, in Delta, and all of this can just take their one hectare, have the support inputs and all of that, and we serve as good anchor for them to go into whether it's central bank, borrowed scheme, and all of those and they drive into town with their SUV, then you will know that farming is serious. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Thank you. I know I'm going to do that. Mr. Solomon Adeiroju in his remarks said, the online real-time marketing concept can help increase business opportunities between Nigeria and Vietnam, asserting that real-time online marketing is about recognizing an opportunity and responding to it which marketers have been doing for quite some time. He further spoke on how the social media has brought real-time marketing to the forefront and has helped to remove the barricade between brands and consumers, which allows sellers share experiences with their buyers. Also, more importantly, all of us here, we know about real-time online marketing. And uh, what we are just stressing about here is that our phone that we used to browse, we need to call and also do a lot of things can also be used as a source of uh, business transaction and uh, marketing as well. So talking about real marketing, online marketing, what we can do by not leaving our room, we can uh, do uh, business transaction. 
Mr. Solomon Adirojo said the benefits of real-time marketing enable buyers have more information about various products to choose from. He further spoke on various tools which can enhance online marketing, which include websites and various social media platforms. Adding that social media platforms have several advantages as they help facilitate information sharing, creating awareness, increased sales, customer retention, among many other benefits. He concluded by urging the government to look at how to increase Nigeria's trade with Vietnam. Uh, so promotion of Nigerian goods, let us try to see how we can increase our trade relationship with Vietnam. They have told us a lot about that. Conclusively, ladies and gentlemen, such as any business is always dependent on marketing, and online marketing is no different. It also encourages interactivity and impulse buys. In building lasting economies and trade bonds between Nigeria and Vietnam, the employment of online play marketing is very crucial. This has been proven over the years to be a reliable marketing tool through which citizens of the two countries can leverage on to increase bilateral trade and enhance the investment relationship. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to conclude by saying that it is recommended that government look at how we can increase our trade with Vietnam because it has been surplus on the part of Vietnam. So we need also to increase our own export drive so that we can also have surplus against Vietnam. On this note, I want to thank you for listening. The president of Nasima, Chief Mrs. Alaba Lawson, in her remarks said, such an initiative by the Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry can help others know the value of each other in order to increase the gross domestic product of the country and ensure economic growth. And I want to let you know that this is one of the welcoming areas of this umbrella of all the chambers of commerce in Nigeria, be it bilateral like this Nigeria Vietnam all the bilateral chambers of commerce, states, cities. We are the voice of the organized private sector. And I want to let you know that this type of chambers of commerce is to help all others to know the products of what can we do with each country, what can we export, what can we import. And this is an area where we can develop our GDP the gross domestic product of this great country, Nigeria, and help our economy to grow. Chief Mrs. Alaba Lawson later presented the Nasima Journal, Mr. Oye Akinshemoyi, the president of the Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry. On behalf of Nasima, the Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Science, and Agriculture, these are our journals to let you know, and we must continue to exchange ideas and pleasantries to know that we are together. And I have the pleasure also to decorate you as one of us. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture, this is our token for you. Next was the investiture of honorary life membership of the body, the Chief Chris Okunowo. Brigadier General Anthony Upo, represented by his wife, Mrs. Anthony Upo, and Alahaji Habiba Liu, who was represented by Mr. Debayo Akiade. To bring the breakfast meeting to a close, the President of the Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Oye Akinshemoyi, in his remark, appreciated all for coming and contributing to the success of the event. To work together with the NBCCI, just as the Minister of Agriculture has done calling on us for input in the area of agricultural FOU. Uh, so we expect that we will get a call from the Minister of Communications so that we can all work partner together in ensuring that the dream is set up in robust and uh, by uh, online real-time 
market is the dream is realized. I thank you very much for this for listening. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live the Socialist Republic of Nigeria of Vietnam. Long live Nigeria Vietnam bilateral relations. Long live Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you. From Biscon Communications, it's congratulations to the Nigeria Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry on their 2018 first quarterly breakfast meeting.